For Idaho News 6, I'm senior reporter Don Nelson. The trucking industry, an essential part of our nation's economy. It's not the easiest job in the world, even tougher with road conditions like this. That's why we have trucking schools to get those future drivers ready before they hit the road. You wouldn't know it was there until you drive down into an old gravel pit near the Boise Airport and see it. I had no idea. I learned how to drive truck on a potato farm in Middleton where I grew up and born and raised in Idaho. Harry Packwood started the Idaho CDL training school back in 2016. We're the largest training school in the state. We train more students than anybody in the state of Idaho. Teaching over a thousand future drivers how to drive. You get a CDL in your pocket, you can get a job anywhere in the country at any time. Packwood says think twice about passing a trucker in bad weather. Passing a truck and then becoming a whiteout situation because of the air movement off the truck blowing snow or slush onto your car, right. which can cause an accident, uh, it's, it's probably not worth it to pass them. Kelly Pennington is one of the instructors and says in weather like this, commuters need to be aware when you approach a big rig. It's slow down. You see a lot of trucks out there that are heavy and they are going fast. But when it comes to stopping on ice and snow and slicky roads, they don't stop any better than your car or your pickup truck. If you haven't noticed, Idaho CDL Training is a sponsor of the Snake River Stampede and a big supporter of the Stampede for the Cure. They'll even take their trucks out to events to help promote breast cancer awareness. Their students range in age. We asked one student actually still in high school up in McCall about what he was doing that day. Just now they were teaching me practicing all my backing up skills. It's a few different backing up skills you got to get dialed. And uh, they've also been treats, teaching me the pre-trip inspection where I inspect the truck for a trip. And uh, they've also been teaching me rules of the road. Owen will have to wait until he's 21 to drive commercially out of state. Remember the next time you're at the store picking something off the shelf, most likely got there by a trucker. So show some patience when you're on the road driving behind them, next to them, or in front of them. Reporting from Ada County, for Idaho News 6, I'm senior reporter Don Nelson.